back to the channel. Hope you're having a good week so far. Shout out to any new subscribers. And thank you guys all so much for the support on the channel. I really appreciate it. So continuing in the recent updates, news, changes that we've been seeing so much about regarding DC and um, WB, WBD, Warner Bros. Discovery, making changes and kind of sharing their plan, some of their plans and visions moving forward as far as restructuring. We've also seen some cancellations and things being shelved um, for different reasons. And so with that, we have some potential updates for the Green Lantern Corps series that we heard quite a long time ago about that was supposed to be an uh, HBO Max original series. And to me, it kind of felt like we haven't heard much about it. Even when we did hear about it before, there really wasn't much details released about it. So I kind of felt like, is it just being put on the back burner? There haven't really been updates about it or any new information coming out. It doesn't really seem like they're trying to put it out there in any way. But it appears that it is still going to be released and it is still being worked on. So there are some different article, a couple of different articles that I've seen um, sharing some, you know, uh, up to date information about it, apparently. So it said this one here says that for DC fans worried about the Green Lantern television series fate amidst the Batgirl cancellation, the project appears to still be in the works and has a release window. On one Twitter user shared a screenshot of the Green Lantern show's information submitted to the Entertainment Identifier Registry, which media companies use to keep track of the content that they put out. Warner Brothers is des designated as the associated org for the project, whose release date is listed as 2024. Maybe difficult to see here, but the release date is right here, 2024. All right, and then they kind of break it down the information that you see here is because kind of, it's hard to see and you don't really know much what you're looking at unless you're familiar with this program or platform. It says the information for Green Lantern appears to be legitimate, being that the project shares common identifiers for Warner Brothers, other entries like HBO Max's Doom Patrol, the EIDR information input for the HBO Max original series third season lines up with what was released on the streaming service in 2021 and bears Warner Brothers registrant ID. This is the same ID that is attached for the Green Lantern show in the system. So kind of based off of the accuracy for other HBO Max Warner Brothers shows that are registered on this platform, it seems like it's probably safe to say that, that informa the information about Green Lantern is also accurate at this time. The existence of the IDR information for Green Lantern does not guarantee the project's safety, however. Batgirl was also submitted to EIDR by Warner Brothers, and the site shows the movie's anticipated 2022 release window, which will now never happen because we know they recently announced it was canceled. If you're not up to date about that, I have a video on it. <laughs> As for Green Lantern, details on the series have been few and far between aside from uh, few and far between aside from reports and two main casting announcements, such as Finn, Whit Finn Whitrock as Guy Gardner and Jeremy Irvine as Alan Scott. Script outlines for the first season of Green Lantern are almost complete though, with writer Mark Guggenheim confirming in June 2022, so only a couple months ago, that he was working on the season finale. Guggenheim said in the Hall of Justice podcast, I'm working today, in fact, on the outline for the season finale, so we're working away. No official word on a release window for Green Lantern has been given by Warner Brothers as of writing. So it seems like it still is being worked on and it hasn't been, um, canceled or shelved 2024 is still you know quite a bit of time for that sh away i imagine that for something as vast as the green lantern core it's not some hopefully it's well, something that they wouldn't want to rush um we did hear about it quite a long time ago but that doesn't mean that it's just immediately being released you know that year or the following year just because we hear about it or because, you know, they kind of announce it. Since HBO Max was a new streaming service around the time kind of that they, of course they want to, they're going to announce things for fans to anticipate that they will be offering on their streaming service at some point. Doesn't mean that it's immediate, as soon as the streaming service drops, all of these things are going to be there. Of course, it takes time for them to build up a library and a catalog of all this different all these different projects and shows and movies that they want to have eventually on the, on the, on the service. 
but they want to give people an idea of kind of what to expect and give people something, you know, um, kind of entice people to subscribe to their service and to watch and see what other things they have to offer, but just to give people an idea of what will be on the service eventually. I didn't think it would take quite this long <laughs> for it to come out. And again, like the article says, the details about the show have been far and few between. We really don't know hardly anything about the show um, besides like what it said, a few casting confirmations, but not really much else. Also, The Hollywood Reporter has some details about the show as well. Um, it says Green Lantern remains on track at the streamer. Sources say again with the uh, with Finn Whitrock, Finn Whitrock as Jeremy Irvine, set to star, and Lee Toland Krager from Superman Lois U on board to direct the first two episodes. Sources say all involved are taking their time with the effects heavy show, the priciest series Berlanti Productions has ever mounted in order to get it right. So I'm sure you are very familiar with Greg Berlanti. His show, his name is all over you know, CW, DC, Warner Brothers projects. So this, the rest of the article kind of talks about, again, Batgirl, Strange Adventures that was also um, canceled and just kind of some of the other things that have been going on recently amid, you know, in the midst of all of these DC changes and updates and whatnot. Again, that makes the whole thing about the visual effects, that makes sense as another, as to another reason why it could still be a while before the show is released. And of course, with series, they don't, I mean, as far as I think, they don't just write um, the first season and then, you know, like take it season by season. They kind of want to, they have some kind of outline for how they would like to show to go if it gets renewed for a second season, third season. So to have some kind of vision for the projection of this show, not just the first series. And so that takes a lot of planning and writing and all this stuff. And who knows if also... Um, since all of these other changes are taking place and probably more changes that we're going to see in the future um, with DC, not just series, um, since we've been seeing changes with the live action film side of it, I'm sure there's also going to be obviously things that are being changed with series and things on HBO Max because we have already seen that. The Flash is going to end after this next, after this season as well. Um, so, you know, there are changes being made all around since it's going to be quite a long time for fans waiting for the Green Lantern show. Hopefully it is worth the wait. And maybe with this new regime in place that also maybe there are also things that they had to adjust or change for the show based on what the new leadership wants to be producing and putting out there as far as the brand. And, you know, I don't know if that's the case, but I guess it's possible that it could also be another reason why it's taking this long now for it to come out. I don't think there was um, every, I, as far as I remember, I don't think there was ever a previous release date. So I don't think I could say that it's been pushed back, not publicly anyway, maybe internally they might've had, I'm sure they had some kind of projected year at least that they wanted to have season one ready to go. Maybe the new regime coming in the merger maybe that also had some bearing on why it's still going to be, you know, another year and a half to two years before this show comes to HBO Max. And again, hopefully it's worth the wait because, you know, the Green Lantern Corps does have a pretty large fan base and um, hopefully it is good production quality. I do imagine it being a pricey, you know, a high budget for the show. So I'm sure they want it to succeed and they want fans to enjoy it and appreciate it and really like it. Um, David Zaslav said recently with the earnings call and sharing a lot of what they have in mind for DC, they are going to focus on quality and releasing, not releasing things that they don't believe in, not releasing things that are not ready and, you know, really want to keep, they really want to focus on quality. So I'm sure that is another part of why it still may be quite some time before we see the show or hear really much about it, to be honest. So I just wanted to share that because I kind of just, I came across it and I thought that was, um, it's worth sharing because of all of the other things that have been going on with DC and Warner Brothers lately. Um, there's still, I mean, there's plenty to talk about regardless, but I um, just thought I would share that because um, a lot of people have been, I think, wondering about the Green Lantern show for quite some time. 
And so thank you guys for watching. Check out the links in the description. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up and or subscribe. And uh, thanks for all the support, guys. We'll see you soon.